G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I want to try to breed my better pair again. Um, fighter fish, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so, we need to make sure we've got a reliable food source. So, today's video is going to be about my live food cultures. Uh, we're just going to check in on the vinegar eels, make sure we've still got some. I've never actually harvested my vinegar eels because I I've never needed to, but I do have a couple of cultures. We'll just check to make sure one's got some in it. Maybe it needs some more pear. I can't remember if it was pear or what I put in them. Um, but anyway, we'll check on that. And then we're gonna go, <coughs> we're gonna go harvest black worms and we're gonna start feeding the bedders up with black worms to get them ready for breeding. All right, guys, step into my office. Um, looks like there's a bit of calcium build up on that fitting there. That's a worry. The ground's dry. Maybe it's old, I don't know. It's a bit strange. There's no moisture there, but I don't feel. Yeah, completely dry. Definitely feels salty though. Which is a bit strained. Uh, but anyway, this is the reason we're here. These bad boys. Uh, I can already see them. So like, obviously you guys can't see shit. You guys hold the light. And I'll look. I think they're vinegar eels. Just cruising around. The camera is clearly not. A, it's trying to focus, eh? Hey? Oh wow! Oh, you guys can see the vinegar eels. How crazy is that? Surprising too. There's there's literally like millions in there. All right, so. We might need to feed them again soon, but see, whatever I put in the bottom, apple or pear or some shit, it looks like there's not much left at the bottom. Um, I don't know why I've got three, <laughs> three cultures, to be honest. I didn't think that would be 100% successful, so I made three. This guy's just cruising. Um, look, he goes for my hand. He's psycho. Um, let's go harvest some black worms. All right, guys, so if you haven't seen this before, this is my black worm culture. Um, it's got a chiller on it. It's actually a mate's chiller. I was meant to give it back, but I haven't. Um, so basically, there's black worm living in this rock. So <clears throat> basically, <clears throat> what I do is I stir the rock up to get the black worm up and then I clean this corner watch to not cut my hand on that though there's sharp glass there so I don't know how healthy this culture is going to be because um, obviously I had that break in feeding that also included includes a black worm. All right, so now we're gonna let that settle and <coughs> all the black worm will settle on that blue patch. We need a container to put the black worm in. I don't know, extreme containers sound good? Good enough to me. We need to get the, um, Oh man, I thought the female was dead then, she was just sleeping. We need to get the squeegee. <sighs> Good old winter fogging up the camera. Alright guys, so now we just get the... What do you call this thing? I've got the term dripper in my head, but it's not a dripper. 
turkey based stuff, that's the one. Honestly, turkey baster is your friend. I used to try and use like a syringe. Blake's Aquatics told me to get a turkey baster, I'll never look back. To be honest, the, <coughs> the culture is a bit low, but it's definitely not too low for me. Um, at one stage I was giving <coughs> some to friends, but <coughs> <coughs> Um, if I really get breeding, I definitely don't think this culture will be big enough to share. Um, so one bit of advice that was given to me that I'll pass on. If you want to grow black worms, just treat it like a normal fish tank. Get your filtration look. See there's a bucket there with sponge in it. Um, it's on a chiller. It's not really necessary, but this is in my shed, which gets like 42, 45 degrees Celsius in summer. Um, I feed them spirulina. Um, you can just feed them anything. But yeah, <clears throat> this is probably one of the best black worm fed cultures in Australia. They literally <laughs> extreme aquatics spirulina flake, <coughs> lucky bastards. Um, I don't feed them heaps, so that thing's, that, that, that tub's already lasted me a year and I've only taken the top layer off it. <coughs> All right, now we've got some black worms, we can go feed them. Um, I guess we're gonna have to climatize the camera. All right, guys, so once I harvest a big batch like that, I just um, keep it in the fish room. Um, I don't want, I just grabbed way too many. Um, and then once it's in this container, it's easy as just like one, two, three, four, give her maybe four. And then over here, I might give this guy some as well. He deserves a treat. And then <clears throat> I actually just shake that around and then throw that back in, make sure not a caught in there. Um, and then that's ready for the morning. What I'd usually do <clears throat> is I make sure at night there's enough for the next morning at least. Cause like five o'clock in the morning, I don't really feel like going hunting for them. Um, this guy's a ripper, eh? I honestly wish this light still worked. That's actually the first light in this room that's died and it died because it got drowned but not just like <coughs> wet this stuff handles water it actually literally landed in the water and drowned i don't know why this girl's laying down i don't know if i just stressed her out doing a water change or what i'll keep an eye on her tomorrow maybe she just doesn't like the camera anyway guys i'm gonna head inside <coughs> i hope you enjoyed that video feels good to get the camera back out in the fish room. I really need to fix the door. How long, how, many, how many years have I been saying I need to fix that door for? Um, many, many moons. I gotta feed these guys. Um, these guys are my future. There's a couple of real nice keepers in there. There's also a couple of real shitty coals. I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Um, these guys have actually been smashing each other, I think, because there's a shitload less in there than before. So I think if anybody suffered from me being sick, it was probably these little guys. Flower horn babies definitely aren't as tolerant as African babies. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up. If you like this video, guys, <laughs> give a thumbs up. If you want to, sub <coughs> sub yeah. I wish this cough would go away. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.